Hello everybody, I'm LJ Green Tigers. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back for more Mass Effect. We're gonna be playing today. Oh, I'm kind of excited, <laughs> a little nervous, but uh, let's just get more of this game done and have a lot of fun with it, yeah? Oh, that's right! Hello, girl! We were about to talk to you when we came back in, I remember now. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am Avina. pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Are you real? Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds interesting. Need a tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. All right. Oof, lots of choices. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel. Though AKA the CSEC, I get it. Serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. All right. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Wow. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. Mm. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make <laughs> I didn't that think kind you of would qualified be. judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar The so two lifetimes it took for of humans to be to expand interstellar trade an embassy. and establish hmm. a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Hmm. Huh. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. <laughs> okay, Spectres. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. Mm. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. All right. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? 
Originally, the council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, <laughs> Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. <laughs> My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Well, I think that's... yeah, that's it. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. A virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, Reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Hmm. Interesting. That they could be any character or whatever sp that anybody would want. Squad. Why is that flashing at me? Oh, I got three points. I can't put sniper. Oh, that's right. That's why I was waiting to do sniper rifles. All right. So. Let's figure things out. Is this the map? No. There's the map. Alright, so I think where we left off... Let's see, zoom in. There we go. Uh, I think we came from Volus and Elcor, yeah. And Udini's office. Udini's. <laughs> Udina's. So let's go to the Embassy Lounge and the CSEC area which was back here because I don't think I went up here last time Ashley wait your turn uh, let's go see sec I guess hello Commander Shepard I didn't expect to see you here did Ambassador Udina send you I go where I want? That's rude. Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executive Powell, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Hmm. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Mm. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. That is true. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. 
They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. That is true. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. Well, hopefully you, you can trust me. You <laughs> eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Almost. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Well, I'll find it. I'll be going now. I'll just Goodbye, leave. Commander. Another codex entry. Goodness, I'm just gonna get filled with them, aren't I? Hmm. So CSEC are basically against... From what I just read, CSEC really don't like specters at all. What's in here? Can't go in there. Oh, here we go. Easy peasy. Better save it after I just hack something. Is a journal entry? Head to the sentry system in the Hawking Eta cluster and investigate the strange biota commune. Oh, I just got a side mission, side quest for that. Good thing I hacked it, right? Yeah, we'll just go left to right. Hi, people. This place seems strange. Why is there more humans? Don't I am human. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I could do for you? That Relax, was a bit harsh. This isn't an inspection. Right. Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I. uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here. As that is, she helps people with. Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Hmm. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. <laughs> I will. Have fun, that is. Commander, good to see you again. Okay, that was an interesting conversation. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Nasana? Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Commander? You know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Sure. What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. <laughs> if you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well... Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Interesting. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. 
Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Hmm. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have Thanks a pleasant for, day. For the information. The heck? Hello? I can't talk to you? Guess you're busy. Well then I'll just, uh, go back and talk to nobody else. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to around here. Alright. What's in here? Any other hackables, side quests, missions, people to talk to? Ashley, get out of the way. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. There is an examine. Ooh, a codex entry. Interesting entry. Hello. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. You as well. Sure is peaceful here. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so that room was basically just filled with codex entries, which wasn't all that entertaining. <laughs> Let's see here. Now we just go... Yeah, basically across the bridge. I don't think there's much else to do here. So yeah, that last place was basically... Just codex filled entries. So now we're gonna head across the bridge because I don't think there's anything left in this area. I mean, I could just run and check. Hmm. 